Time has come, our life is changing Getting used to all this rearranging You and me, we're here together We'll take it on, no matter this weather This chapter has ended Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Justin and Erica. Justin and Erica come to give themselves to one another in his holy covenant. Now it says here, that Grandpa can say a little something about Erica and Justin. This is the most unusual wedding ever. Since I roasted you last night, I'm going to be a little kinder today. So, I hadn't met Justin yet. I decided to intimidate him. I said, Justin, I'm Erica's grandfather, and it's my responsibility to keep track of all the guys that she dates. But I want you to remember, I'm 6'6", 250 pounds, and an ex-boxer. That's fantastic, Mr. Grass. I can't wait to meet you. We got so much in common. My father was a Golden Gloves champ. <laughs> Congratulations, you passed the test real early. I ask you now to declare your intention to enter to union with each other. Do you take Justin to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and health as long as you both shall live? I do. Justin, do you take Erica to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and health as long as you both shall live? I do. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I do. I announce that you are now husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Been a wild ride to get here. Erica and Justin had to change their wedding date and venue on multiple occasions to make this happen. The Millers and the Rodriguez definitely appreciate and love all of you for making it out. And, and I've been thinking about this like, I don't know, a year. You know, what, what do you say at your daughter's wedding? You come up with an antidote and you say this and you say that. And when I look at Erica, I think of family. Uh, there wasn't anything she couldn't master, whether it was piano or sports, uh, certainly school. And Erica, you're absolutely incredible. Justin is truly one of my best friends. He is notorious for always being a great companion at a Chicago Cubs game, taking great care of those that are closest to him, educating anyone around him who will listen, 
on bourbons and world history and is always taking and thinking one step ahead of everyone else. And Justin is excellent at directions. The thing, Justin, though, is how can you be so good with directions yet struggle for many years to navigate out of the friend zone? And we kept hearing about this guy, J-Rod. What's this guy's name? I'm not calling him J-Rod. We have to know. So it's Justin. Who is this guy? Is he good enough for my sister? Every time I would look at the way Justin treats my sister, I'm reminded of my dad and my grandpa. And he just treats her the same way. <laughs> so there's my son, you know? There's my son. I can only hope one day God sends me someone who looks at me the way you look at my sister. Especially after she farts and you say, Erica! And she goes, hee! Let's raise a glass to this amazing couple and celebrate till our glasses run dry. And let's make this one for the books. God, give all our grace to Eric and Justin who came now to join in marriage and enable them to grow in love and peace with you and one another all these days. Amen. <laughs>